What's up, everyone? I hope you're having an awesome day. This is Aya Saras bringing you museum tours and exhibition reviews. Today, I'm showing you two very unique heritage buildings in the Banks Peninsula in New Zealand: the Time Ball Station in Littleton and Studded Cottage in Diamond Harbour. So, join in for another museum and exhibition review. So today I'm showing you two different places, both of them situated in the Banks Peninsula near Christchurch. I am heading to the Time Ball Station in Littleton, but before showing you the Time Ball Station, I would like to talk a little bit about where I'll be guiding you today. So both Littleton and Diamond Harbour are located in the Banks Peninsula. You can drive about 20 minutes to Littleton from Christchurch, and to get to Diamond Harbour, you can either take a boat from Littleton or drive around the peninsula. The boat ride is really nice, especially when you have a clear blue sky. Littleton is a port town with rich history. It was the first port where European settlers arrived to Christchurch in 1850. The Littleton port was also used by Antarctic expeditions. Both Robert Falcon Scott and Ernest Shackleton chose Littleton as the base for their expeditions. So here I am up the hill at Littleton Time Ball Station, which is now owned by Heritage New Zealand. So here on these beautiful panels, it explains what Time Ball is, how it was important for the sailors back then, and how it actually worked. Time Ball Station played an important role in informing ships sailing through the harbour, the Greenwich Mean Time, from 1876 to 1934. It enabled navigators to verify the accuracy of the chronometers to seconds so that they can calculate their position in the sea. Every day precisely at 1 p.m. the ball on top of the tower would drop signaling the time. This time ball station was one of only five in the world known to be still working in order. However, the original station has been completely damaged by Canterbury earthquakes in 2010 and 2011. You can see how bad the damages were through these photos. The tower then completely collapsed during an aftershock in June 2011. It says here on the panel that the tower we see now was totally reconstructed between 2016 and 2018. And the stonework, which incorporates some of the original stones, was pinned to a new concrete quake-resistant core. They've also restored the zinc time ball uh, painted with original colors. And as you can see on this foundation map, the station used to look somewhat like a castle with a bathroom and a couple bedrooms and a kitchen. So the official name of this heritage site is now called Littleton Time Ball, actually, instead of Time Ball Station, since the station part has been destroyed. This elaborate carved wooden post, Po Fenua, is a symbol of the long history of maritime navigation in Aotearoa. From here, you can see a nice view of Banks Peninsula, including Diamond Harbour across the port. At around 12.56 p.m. every day, the time ball starts to rise and exactly at 1 p.m. it drops down. It's really fascinating that they restored it to make it work again. So usually the door to the tower is locked, but I was lucky enough to go inside and walk up the stairs to have a look.
And this flagpole even has a longer history than the time ball. Littleton's portmasters raised flags to communicate to each other using the International Code of Signals established in 1857. It says here that the signals created excitement because they meant arrival of news, goods, and mail from the outside world. The flagpole stood here from the 1860s and was operational until 1941. So I've drove around the peninsula and now I am at Diamond Harbour, pretty much across the Littleton Port. I love coming here for a walk, picnic, cafe, and it's just really nice with stunning views. And if you take a boat from Littleton, your boat will arrive here on this jetty. And that's the Stoddart Cottage that I'll show you a bit later, but let's just look around the harbour a bit more. This cottage that I'm visiting today, Studdard Cottage, is also a heritage site. Mark Studdard arrives in New Zealand in 1851 from Scotland when he was 32 years old. In 1856, he buys 500 acres of land on Diamond Harbour for farming. He's actually the one who named this place Diamond Harbour. The cottage was built for his wedding in 1862, and it's the oldest building in Diamond Harbour. It seems like they're doing a pop-up shop today. And the cottage is also where his daughter Margaret was born. Margaret was one of the first women to succeed as a professional artist in New Zealand. And you can see her paintings in art galleries and museums throughout the country. She lived here until the age of 10. So this is inside the cottage in the main gallery and they have a changing exhibition every month. So there's always something new to look at. This is the historic room of the cottage, which has fragments of the original wallpaper. The furniture inside this room is not original, but they're from the 1860s and 70s. It says here on the panel that when the earthquake repair work was undertaken, a lot of household artifacts including 99 beer bottles have been found underneath the house. It's quite interesting to discover what sort of lifestyle they had back then.
These are some items that belong to the family, including mugs and a locket. Now I'm outside the cottage to see the wash house. So this is the end of my tour. Studded Cottage is open to the public Friday to Sunday from 10 to 4 and it's free to visit. I highly recommend visiting here. They also have arts and crafts shop selling products made by local artists. I really enjoy visiting both Littleton Time Ball and the cottage today. Despite the number of earthquakes, we still get to see both buildings and particularly the Time Ball Tower. They have done a fantastic job on the restoration. If you'd like to see more videos like this, help me out and hit the subscribe button. Thanks for watching, I'll see you again on the next video. Bye! Don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you want to see more on museum tours.